Hey, what's up guys? The Flix here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and the Call of Duty World War 3 mod. So, in today's video, I've got a cool little battle lined up, uh, taking place on one of the modern Warfare, Warfare 2 maps. Warfare, Warfare, Warfare. Um, and, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, I've created a small local militia, uh, definitely not weak, but it's not an army. Uh, they've occupied this house here in the United States, not sure where we are, perhaps Michigan or something, um, anywhere where there's like local militias and stuff, perhaps not in uh, Manhattan. Obviously, this doesn't look like New York, but whatever. Um, yeah. Interesting fact, um, if you know or if you're into it, like, let me know if you have any uh, experiences with uh, any local militias in uh, the United States. Um, and uh, if, like, every state has a local militia or if it's, like, impossible to practically form a local militia where there are, like, really strict gun laws or something. So, fill me, fill me in. Uh, on the whole local militia stuff because I find it very interesting. I just it's it's kind of cool It might sound weird to say that but having these like kind of military grade armed civilians in a way uh, and, You know it, it, go, it stems very far back or it comes from the the Second Amendment rights to you know rights to bear arms in order to um, Enforce or protect the First Amendment, you know the the freedom of speech and all that stuff So I, I understand that's but but still um, They have kind of taken a hostage this is a local state senator, or perhaps a mayor. It doesn't really matter, but they have a hostage. And the, the federales are here to get him out. And uh, they haven't been able to resort it peacefully, obviously, since we're doing a battle. How the hell would... What, I don't know how we would do this otherwise. I might be able to script and have a voice actor come in here and be like, okay, we negotiate, and then just script the, 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 the release of the prisoner or the hostage, and then have everyone escorted out or something. It'd be like a kind of an undramatic scene. It wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, point is, here we are, and it's going to be a big old firefight. We have federal troops or agents, you know, SWAT, FBI, all that stuff. Over here down the road, they are going to initiate the attack. We actually have a few armed militiamen over here. Um, kind of just aware of the fact that they're under siege, obviously, but they're keeping them uh, at a distance. Uh, we have another patrol over here uh, watching kind of the back road. So, you know, we got a lot of dudes here in the center with various weapons, rifles, shotguns, you know. Um, it'd probably be easier, depending on the state. I think some of these guns would be semi-automatic, but there wouldn't be any trouble in finding, you know, uh, semi-automatic M4s, AR-15s, you know, AK-47s even, you know, firing some pretty large calibers. Like, I think I visited a gun store in the United States when I lived there, and they sold, like, everything. So many weapons, but most of it, most of it was semi-automatic. Of course, you can buy fully automatic rifles in many states, I do believe, as long as you have the permits and stuff. So, no semis here, un unless, of course, shotguns and rifles, but still. Um... And we're going to have, yeah, I, I don't think I need to explain much more. There's going to be this sick internal fight here, or indoor fight, rather. And, um, all right, guys, it's time to get this uh, siege started. Um, we're going to be uh, unlocking the interior view here of the building as well. This is where things will get very, very nasty in a short while. That is if the federal agents can defeat the outside defenders. The attack has begun. Uh, mostly from down this road. This checkpoint is taking a lot of fire. So one part of the attack has been initiated. The second part of the attack is about to begin. We have a unmarked van uh, transporting federal agents closer to the house. We have more troops coming across the bridge, and it's hard not to call them troops when they are this heavily armed. So this checkpoint is going to come under a lot of fire as well. So now we have a two-way attack on this building. Here's a militia marksman in cover, firing from afar. Pretty sweet. A lot of federal agents coming in, though.
it seems like the sniper is keeping them uh, at a distance. But over here on the opposite side, the federal agents have made a lot of progress. They are getting closer and closer to the entrance of the building. Marksman still alive and picking off federal agents from a distance. But he's heavily suppressed right now. And he's down. Now the second stage of the battle can begin. It's going to be interesting to take a look at casualties outside once we're done. But now the siege begins. Now the, the actual intrusion of the building can commence. We have a lot of federal agents lining up outside. Troops rushing in right now. Being gunned down by the entrance, we have a lot of uh, guns pointed at the entrance. There are, however, two entrances, one from the outside. It'll be interesting to see if the AI chooses to use it. I don't think so, so this is going to turn into a bit of a slaughter, but uh, we're going to see if the federal agents can solve the situation. Okay, we got a grenade coming out. Oh. We have a few guns back here in one of the back rooms. We're gonna zoom down a bit like this without clipping through too much of the building. So yeah, he's got a straight, perfect view and line of fire of that entrance. We have a shotgunner here in the kitchen. One, one federal agent, however, made it in. I'm not sure, I think he crawled in, which is a pretty good idea, but he was shot dead at point blank. This is super gruesome right now. And the senator is still alive. No accidental uh, kills or anything like that so far. No accidental grenades thrown. Oh, I hear some fire from the outside. Are they are they trying to fire through the windows? So they've put up newspapers and stuff here to cover the inside. So this is this is pretty much a, a perfect building and map for a situation like this. I think they're trying to arrest the leader right now. Uh, they have him at gunpoint. No, he's going to resist, and they're going to gun him down. Holy crap, that was pretty intense. They've located the senator. Uh, we have three federal agents around him, but he is not safe. Grenades coming out. That doesn't usually end well. Okay, there's another one holding this back room here, or this kind of, like, office room. He's still alive, but he's going to be gunned dead. Wow, that's <laughs> this is a crazy clearing right now. We have two more men alive here in the kitchen. Look at all these homemade bombs and stuff. Whoa. I thought they shot that man out of existence. Grenade out. Lots of grenades being used here. So, yeah, this is nothing short of a full-on battlefield. Oh, damn, that's nasty. That shotgun up close is deadly. Apparently the... Oh, one's trying to escape. He's on the outside of the building. I don't think he's going to get far. Turning into a shotgun duel right now. But I think this is the last man alive. Damn! And he's down. And the building has been secured. The senator is alive. Let's get this man out of here. Let's get give him. He's cr he's gonna crawl out. He's so he's so shook. Oh, there we go. Let's get him out. Whew. And let's have a look at casualties. We're gonna mark um Militia casualties in yellow and uh, federal agents, police, SWAT, you name it. Uh, we're going to mark them in red. So they lost probably a dozen, a little more uh, or so, clearing this building. Uh, we have dead militiamen outside here by the parking lot. We have a few dead uh, agents out here as well and down here. Not any huge casualties um, from far. It got kind of nasty up close, which I expected. The sniper picked off probably all the seven casualties we see here by the van and the uh, small um, um, pond or whatever that is. But anyway, so that was an excellent uh, position, a good uh, rifle as well. He had a scoped G3, which is cool. But yeah, 
hope you guys enjoyed this scenario. This was kind of inspired by the uh, the standoff in uh, Homeland, I think season seven, uh, when the police was uh, trying to get at, um, it was actually the FBI, which is why I'm calling these guys agents, um, when they were trying to arrest that guy who's like port portraying uh, Alex Jones in a way, and the local militia protected him and it turned into a siege and um, like 20, 30 militiamen were killed and a few agents were shot dead as well. Um, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much what this was. Uh, and this house fits it perfectly. I mean, just everything, the interior, the, the, the state of it, it's, it's just, you know, it's just a, it's a holdout. All these computers and stuff, gun cases, and ah, it's cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, modern scenario. If you want to see more, let me know. I kind of want to play around with the idea of more militia stuff, so, um, or local militias, at least American militias. I mean, it's almost impossible having a militia in any other country because of um, most of the gun laws out there today at least in Sweden you practically couldn't have a local militia in Sweden in fact I think it's practically illegal and we'd only have shotguns and hunting rifles pretty much but still uh, we do have a lot of guns here but uh, yeah uh, anyway before I go too far away from the topic um, I'd like to know more so we can make more of these cool scenarios and perhaps a series. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon again. Ciao.